Have you ever paused to ponder why people willingly discard their hard-earned money? It's a problem that leaves even the most seasoned economist scratching their head in confusion, and the mere thought would undoubtedly bring a tear to a banker's eye. Today, we're going to embark on a riveting journey that will take us into the heart of financial waste, where the concept of money is turned on its head and thriftiness is a foreign concept. Imagine a place where dollar bills and loose change intersect with trash cans and landfills, where the value of cash is disregarded and treated with the same nonchalance as everyday rubbish. This is the world of financial waste, a world that is as perplexing as it is intriguing. Picture this scenario. You've been gifted a whopping thousand dollars, a sum most would consider a small amount. But think of the countless things you could do with such an amount. You could choose to invest it, wisely placing it in stocks or bonds with the potential for growth. You could set it aside for a rainy day, creating a safety net for when times get hard. You could splurge on that high-tech gadget you've been dreaming of, or even take a well-deserved vacation to some exotic location. How about putting it towards a down payment on a house, or contributing it to your retirement fund? The possibilities are virtually endless each one seemingly more appealing than the last. But then, picture this absurd twist. What if you simply threw it into a bin, tossed it aside like it was no more valuable than an empty soda can or used napkin? The idea seems absolutely ludicrous, doesn't it? This is the harsh reality we are confronted with. Every day, millions of people around the world are metaphorically throwing their money into bins. They waste it on unnecessary things, make poor money decisions, or simply spend it without considering the long-term implications. It's a phenomenon that's as baffling as it is widespread. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? And yet, it also opens the door to a world of financial awareness and savvy decision-making. So let's begin this exploration into the fascinating realm of financial waste. No, not literally, but metaphorically. We're all guilty of it. Those everyday clicks and scrolls on online shopping platforms, when we could easily satisfy our needs with what we already have, for just a fraction of the cost. Those trendy clothes, the latest gadgets, the compulsive additions to our virtual shopping carts, they all add up. And we know this, yet we continue to succumb to the allure of endless options, allowing the comfort of shopping from our couches to lure us into the inviting world of online retail. What about that gym membership that we purchased at the start of the new year, filled with ambition and an optimistic resolution? You remember that day, don't you? The glint of determination in your eyes promised to yourself that you would make the most of this investment. But now, as we're halfway through the year, that membership card gathers dust somewhere in your drawer, untouched, unused, and forgotten. The workouts that were supposed to tone your muscles, the treadmill runs that were supposed to increase your stamina, the Zumba classes that you, you wanted to attend, they all remain a distant dream. Then there's the classic, the impulse buys, a flashy of shoes that caught your eye on the website, a piece of tech that is the talk of the town, a designer outfit on sale that you had to have, a little here, a little there, and before you know it, your bank account is shrinking faster than a long distance runner after an intensive training. Now you might be thinking, but I work hard for my money. I deserve to enjoy it. And you'd be absolutely correct. After all, who are we to deny ourselves the pleasure of indulgence? We slog for hours on end, juggling multiple tasks and responsibilities to earn that paycheck. It's only fair that we reward ourselves, enjoy the fruits of our labor. But pause for a moment and consider this. Enjoying your money doesn't necessarily mean wasting it. It doesn't mean mindlessly splurging on items that provide momentary satisfaction. It's about making smart choices, about understanding the value of your hard-earned money. It's about planning your expenses, about budgeting and investing wisely. It's about finding the delicate balance between spending and saving, between wants and needs. It's about stretching each dollar to its limit ensuring that every cent is accountable for bringing you a step closer to your financial goals. Remember, it's not about denying yourself the pleasures of life, but about appreciating and utilizing your resources in the most efficient and satisfying way possible. 
It's about making your money work for you, instead of you working for your money. It's about creating a lifestyle that is sustainable, one that allows you to enjoy the present without compromising your future. That's the secret to financial freedom. That's how you make every dollar count. And that's how you truly enjoy and appreciate your hard-earned money. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how much you earn, but how much you retain that truly matters. So think twice, spend wisely, and make every dollar work for you. After all, it's not just about making money, it's about making your money matter. The next time you're tempted by that trendy outfit or that flashy gadget on the online store, remember this. Every dollar saved is a dollar earned. And every smart choice you make brings you one step closer to financial freedom. It's about making smart choices, stretching each dollar to its limit. Let's take a gander at the practice of dining out. It's a treat, right? A gourmet meal, a relaxed atmosphere, and a break from cooking. Who wouldn't want that? But if you're indulging in pleasure every day, that's a significant sum of money you're expending. The cost can surge quickly, and without you even noticing, you could be spending a small fortune. Imagine you're the type of person who routinely spends $20 a day on lunch. That's a seemingly innocuous amount, right? But consider the long-term ramifications. Over the span of a week, you're spending around $140. In a month, that's roughly $600. And over a year, you'd be looking at a staggering $7,000 on lunch alone. Now let's consider another scenario. What if you packed lunch instead of eating out? What if you decided to bring a simple homemade sandwich, a piece of fruit, and a drink to work? If you invested some time and effort into meal prep, you could save a significant portion of that $7,000. It's not just about the money saved, it's about the opportunities that saving presents. That's money that could be spent on other things. Something bigger, something more worthwhile. Perhaps a dream vacation you've always wanted to take but never found the money for. How about investing it into a worthwhile venture? That would be a game changer, wouldn't it? It's all about prioritizing and realizing where your money could be better spent. And then there's the matter of those subscription services. How many do you have? Is it five, 10? More, in our digital age, it's easy to lose track. Streaming platforms, music subscriptions, online magazines, fitness apps, the list is endless. Every month, a little bit here, a little bit there, it all adds up. It's a slow drip that can drain your wallet dry if you're not careful. So, let's be honest with ourselves. Do you really watch all those TV shows on the streaming platforms you subscribe to? Or listen to all the playlists on your music apps? Do you use all the features offered by those fitness or productivity apps? How often do you read those online magazines you subscribe to? Assessing your usage and cutting back on those subscriptions that you don't fully utilize or even need could save you a surprising amount of money. So what's the takeaway message here? It's about being conscious of where your money is going and making decisions on how you spend it. Every penny saved is a penny earned. And let's be honest, do you really watch all those channels or use all those apps? Cutting back on those could save you a surprising amount of money. What about those impulse buys we mentioned earlier? They're the silent budget killers creeping up on you when you least expect it. But remember, just because something is on sale doesn't mean you need to buy it. If you wouldn't pay full price for it, then it's probably not a need, it's a want. And wants can wait. The world of financial waste is a vast and varied one, full of pitfalls and traps. But with a little awareness and some smart choices, you can navigate it like a pro, keeping more of your hard-earned money in your pocket where it belongs. Have you ever considered embracing minimalism? It's not just a design aesthetic, it's a lifestyle. This lifestyle choice can be a game-changer when it comes to saving money. The philosophy of less is more is the key. It's about focusing on what's essential and getting rid of excess. For instance, do you really need five different types of coffee makers? A minimalist would argue that one is enough. Or how about all those clothes in your wardrobe that you haven't worn in years? A minimalist approach could drastically reduce your wardrobe and by extension your spending on clothes. Now we're not saying you should get rid of everything you own and live like a hermit. Far from it. It's more about being mindful of what you purchase, what you keep, and what you discard. Think about it. How much could you save if you only bought what you truly needed? 
How much less clutter would there be in your home and in your mind if you embraced this way of life? We challenge you to try minimalism for a month. See the difference it makes, not only to your bank account, but also to your overall sense of well-being. Remember, less is more when it comes to spending. And in the end, it's not about how much stuff you have, it's about the quality of your life and the richness of your experiences. So why not give minimalism a try? You might just find that it's the missing piece in your financial puzzle. Remember, this isn't about depriving yourself. It's about making your money work for you. It's about getting the most bang for your buck. And who doesn't want that? Now, before you dash off, do us a favor, won't you? If you found value in this video, give it a like, share it with your friends, drop us a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. After all, it doesn't cost a thing, and it could save you a fortune. Thank you for your time. And remember, a penny saved is a penny earned.